my friends at Discord uh, this morning. Uh, so we're going to have some fun. Okay, I cannot wait. I'm ready. Okay, I got my black gloves on both sides. I don't know about you, but man, my dry fingers are killing me lately. So now my left hand is getting worse as well. But let's replace some birds. So this is the DF64. Okay, the P stands for, I think it's for a uh, car for premium. Okay, so premium, uh, pretty much this uh, DF64 e, uh, P is made for people loves uh, panel dialed in espresso. That's it. If you want to enjoy your filter coffee or French press, V60, this is not it. All right, so this is a uh, very espresso focused uh, coffee grinder. I'm going to big shout out to Joe, Joe at Espresso Outlet. I'm going to put his link down below. He hooked me up with this coffee grinder and also he sent me, it's called Gorilla Gear, okay, Gorilla Gear Birds as well. So we are, I'm going to be installing it this morning and it should be fun. I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do it. Very easy, it comes to a uh, replacement and take the birds out. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, that's it, right? Yeah, so now, uh, by the way, so this 64 millimeter. So now we have uh, all the birds on my uh, grinder behind me. It comes to 65, I have the HU, Cast, MP, now with Gorilla Gear, and also we have another, I got another DF64. It's already here, okay? DF64E, just the regular birds. So that, uh, that's regular, like in a kind of Italian style uh, birds as well. It's called Italian male. So we have all the different birds, 64 millimeters. So we are going to do some fun comparison coming up days and weeks to come. So if you are looking for what kind of birds I should get, I'm going to uh, start doing some comparison for you. So you don't have to buy birds that you might regret down the road. Okay. I don't, want, I don't want to say regret, uh, more, more like, you know, maybe you would prefer other birds instead. So hopefully I can convey that to you uh, next couple of weeks. And hopefully you are going to uh, pick the right birds for you because it is hard, okay? It's hard to justify buy like two or three different grinders with different birds. I mean, fortunately, you know, I was able to do that, but most of you out there, you're most likely you're going to buy maybe one grinder if you are lucky, maybe two, all depend on your financial situation. Let's get going. It should be a quick and easy video. Here we go, folks. Uh, comes to DF64P. Here we go, hold on. Uh, you got a, <clears throat> two top screws on the top. That's it. Just remove it. Uh, this is the, uh, just use an Allen wrench. Just remove two of them. <clears throat> Just lift it. So you got the upper birds here. Uh, so that's the regular uh, screw drive. Uh, fli uh, Philip. And then they got the three of them on the bottom. So let's get going. Okay. I'm going to start with the top birds. Uh, I like to use, I like to move some kind of pad down. Okay. Make sure you get the screws right. Just make sure, uh, get the heavy duty ones, folks. Okay. And just release it. I already loosened it earlier this morning, so I don't have to really struggle. Yeah, I already loosened up. So it should be pretty easily come out. For some reason, that screw down really, really tight. So I had to work at it. Okay. All right. As we can see there, you see that gap? So that's how much the burr is sticking out, okay? 
So I'm going to take the birds out. That's pretty tight fit. Just make sure to clean it, okay? Make sure to clean it before I'm going to install in the new birds. Because you do not want to have any coffee grinds when you're installing the birds. So again, you got one, two, and three spot. I'm trying to make sure there is, yep, there's no difference between which birds. Look at the gap. I feel like they're slightly thicker. Okay, I feel like they're thicker than regular birds. I wonder if I can do side-by-side -side comparison. I wonder I can do side by side comparison there. Yeah, it seems like the gorilla gear boards are slightly thicker. And just line it, screw back in. That's it. Again, the process is pretty simple, okay? Uh, so far, they're pretty straightforward, the replacement. Do not tie it the first time. I'm just, just going to go kind of like loose because you just want to align it. Let's go initially. Just make sure everything is over. Yeah, I think I can feel it. There's a little wiggle room there, so you just you just go center as possible. Just make sure. And then give it a okay. Don't go too hard, guys. It's just, you know, just make sure tight. Do not force it. So we got top one is done. Okay. Uh, let's work on the bottom one. Let's work on the bottom birds here. So the top is done. Bottom one, same process. Okay. I like to just hold it down. Loosen up. Okay. It's a good thing I loosen up first. <coughs> Let's take a look at the bird carrier.
Oh, interesting. That comes with You see that rubber piece? Comes the rubber piece for the noise factor there. Which means I have to redo mine, the first one. Because I thought, yeah, hold on. So yeah, so if you are playing on replacing this, make sure do not lose the, the rubber piece. What else is interesting about this uh, grinder? Just make sure now everything is tight. Yeah, so this is interesting because uh, I don't see that from uh, DF64, regular DF64, or even like P64. There's no such thing like that. So again, yep, it fits. It fits just fine. Yeah, so they do have this rubber piece on the bottom. Which means, earlier, I definitely left out the, the rubber piece from this one, okay? So I have to, I'm going to be undo this right now. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Yeah, I'm just... I was wonder about that. So that rubber piece goes right here, over. Oh, this, uh, this, uh, the shield, not the shield or sealer. Just like so. Man. And I'm just going to put right on the top. Yep, just like that. Hmm. Uh, I'm very curious about alignment aspects of it. This is more reason to. I really need to go really tight there. All right, I'm just going to go tight. Okay. I think this is good. So this one, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do some good cleaning outside. So I'll be right back folks, okay. I'll be right back because you do not have, you do not want to have any
Okay, folks, I'm back. So now everything is all clean. As you can see, the bird carrier there. They look like they actually polished. It's not perfect, okay? As you can see from there, yeah, it's not clean like my P64, but I know they try. Put this rubber piece goes right here. The sealer, uh, I kind of, uh, is that sealer? Some kind of silicone gasket, yeah, gasket is the right word. Goes right in here. Man, they are pretty tight. Okay, they did a pretty good job. Yep. I'm just gonna do initial screw down. I'm just going to tight, quick. Okay, I think nothing looks pretty good there, folks. Let's give it a quick spin. It spins well. That's it. So this is how you replace the burrs on DF64P. So now here's the, here's the big one folks. The next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I find the zero points. I'm gonna find out where is the zero points going to be at. Again, if you have DF64P, if you're thinking about replacing birds, do not lose that, uh, the rubber gasket there. Okay. Because I imagine, <coughs> oops. I feel like the Gorilla Gear birds are, seems like a little thicker. So let's find out where it's gonna be zero points going to be. Hopefully you guys are going to hear the tripping noise.
Okay, it's not tripping so far. Hmm. Not tripping. Okay. The real question is uh, how far from the from the zero is my zero point? I'm not sure. But before we are going to break it apart, I'm going to make a quick, you know, let's grind some coffee beans first, okay? Yeah, let's do that. Because yesterday, I was at number 30, uh, more like around number 30 there, I get a pretty good shot of uh, espresso. So, let's try that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little puzzled at the moment. Because I was hoping it's going to trip, but we'll see here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be, let's do, I believe yesterday I did with Costa Rica yesterday, so I'm going to be going 18 grams of Costa Rica. Before, I'm just going to go through some coffee beans a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to go through some coffee beans a little bit. Uh, let's measure out 18 gram here. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's also check the retention too. Okay. Hold on. I got 18 gram going in right now. Yeah. I got 18 gram going in and let's see, 17.7, about 0.3 gram, hold on, maybe I'll, I wonder I can find it somewhere, okay, about 0.2 gram is missing somewhere, but it's all right, I'm not going to worry about 0.2 gram at the moment, okay. Well, it comes to grind quality, it's okay. You know what? I don't, yeah, it should be fine. I mean, this is, uh, I'm just gonna do some quick distribution here. This is my needle tools from Gnomecore. Okay, works pretty good. Let's give it a quick temp. All right, I'm just gonna add 
Just puck screen, okay. Um, let's take a look. Because yesterday, again, around 20, around 30, like 26, 27 was pretty good size, so. Let's take a look. Okay, 13 seconds, way too fast. So I'm at right now uh, 20, I'm sorry, like 26, 27. I think I should go a little finer, but. I still have a lot of room to go down. <clears throat> but the next, okay, so next thing I gotta do is I need to find the zero point. I thought it's gonna be, uh, I thought it's gonna be uh, thicker than Gorilla, uh, the regular stack boards, but it seems like, I don't know, it might be thinner or it might be same size of the thickness. Okay. But, cheers. Coffee taste is fine. It's under extracted, obviously. But you know what? Shall I do it one more time? You know, let's do one more time, okay? Yeah, let's give it a one more time. So there was, uh, yeah, let's give it a, another shot. I'm very curious. So there, there was, let's see here. So I'm at number 30 right now. Uh, there's like 13 seconds. So I think I should go down to maybe like 20. Like 20 clicks. Yeah, let's go down to 20 clicks. Okay, let's go down to 20 clicks and see what happens. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna go down to 20 clicks. Uh, comes to adjustment wise, I don't know. I mean, it's on the bottom there, so. 20 clicks. Let's do another 18. Man, I only have 10 gram, hold on. That's unfortunate, but it's all right. I'm gonna add some coffee beans, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna add some, about eight more grams of coffee from Dimella, okay? Yeah, it's okay. So again, we got 18 gram going in right now. Okay, folks. All right, let's do some puck prep here. I know if I think it's gonna be different because since uh, uh, I changed the the grind size, not the grind size, but yes, we we changed the grind size finer. And also, I mix some coffee beans. So uh, comes to 20 grind size. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just gonna go here. Okay. I got the gnome core, the needle tools. You know, I mean, it does it does works. Okay, is that worth? Yeah, maybe we should talk about it next time. Yeah. For this case, I don't have to.
Yeah, you know what? Much finer this time. Okay, that tw uh, so we change maybe like 26 clicks to th uh, 20 clicks. I can tell from the depth. It's much finer here. Okay, here we go. Stir fast, okay? Could be the beans. Yeah. Stir fast there. I got 46, it's more like turbo shots. Because the mixing that coffee beans, it wasn't a good idea, but yep. You know what? Let's do one more, guys. Since we are here, why not? Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna go. Yeah. Let's do one more. So this is coffee from DiMello from Peru. Let's see here, what's the tasting note on this, this one? Is it apricot? I think it's apricot, hold on. Apricot, jam, cherry, and plum, okay. Let's do 18. So right now I'm at 25. I think I'm gonna go down to, uh, let's see here, more like 20. Uh, 20, maybe 15. You know, let's go 15 and see, okay? If I choke, that's okay. If we choke the coffee beans, I'm fine with that. Let's go down to 15. Man, I can smell the apricot right now. Yeah. The 15, I think it might be too fine, but we'll see. Okay. I'm willing to play with it. All right, let's take a look, folks. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be, who knows? This time, I'm just going to use my regular, my hand WDT tools here. Yeah, I can smell the, the apricot. I have to remind you, this is a really old coffee, by the way. It's about, goodness, at least a couple months old. Yeah, I can really tell. I mean, definitely, I can tell that it's going to be really fine, okay? Yeah, it's gonna be really fine coffee. The fine means uh, it's gonna be the grind side is really fine there. Yeah, I mean as you can see, you see the group, uh, the head space. So grinder works, okay? Grinder works just fine. But obviously, I'm dealing with the, this coffee beans that requires even finer setting to extract. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at our number three shots.
Okay, a little longer, 18 seconds. Yeah, so I bet you this one, yeah, I've got really finer. Okay. But I can definitely see that uh, the grinder works just fine. Okay. So what's next? All right. Okay, so what's next? So right now we start with the number 30. Now I'm going down to number 15. Okay. And I need to find the zero point because I have no idea what zero point is. So once I set the zero point, and uh, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to, once I find the zero point, all depends on where, and I need to calibrate it, and the 15 point could be like turned back into number 30 position. So again, the calibration is key, okay? I mean, if I, you know, because, yeah. Man, this smells wonderful. A apricot. What else? I smell. Apricot jam. I'm going to try this one anyway. Sweet. It's pretty good, I have to say. I bet you if I'm going to go, uh, if I'm going to go down to one more, maybe like 10, I think we're going to have some really, really good espresso. It's good. Okay, but I bet you we can do much, much better on this one. So anyway, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I think we've been, it's been a, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Okay, if you are just joining us, uh, we just replaced the uh, DF64P with uh, Gorilla Gearbirds. So I thought, uh, comes the mouse feels to it, very, uh, kind of like medium body on this one. Hold on. Definitely sweet from uh, the apricot. The flavor is that the taste in it is just overwhelming. Okay. So this one, roast the dates. Here we go, hold on. Here. Roast the date on this guy is. Oh, then where is the roast the date on this one? Did not say, but I know this is pretty old. Hold on, here we go. July 27th. Okay, July 27th. So this is a uh, tw July 27th. So you got August, September, about eight, seven, like seven weeks old. Coffee beans. Still, this grinder bring out the pretty good tasting notes. And I'm really looking forward to play with the Gorilla Gear next uh, couple of days. Uh, I'm not gonna do, you know, I'm not gonna do the, the live calibration because they're a little involved, okay? Calibration for DF64, there's no calibration on just regular DF64. You know where is the zero point once you start turning it, okay? They are stepless grinder. This is also stepless grinder as well, but you have a limit to it, okay? It doesn't go at certain points. I mean, pretty much you are locked in. So this is not like endless coffee grind, you know. I don't know why they did that, but the, that range right there, that's it, that's the range of espresso, okay? With the F64, you can go fine as you want and also coarse as you want. So you got the, again, if you are looking for like multi-purpose, I mean, kind of brewing method. This is not it, folks, okay? The F64P is not the one for you. But if you only cares about espresso, this one has a lot of potential, okay? This one has a lot of potential. And I'm not gonna say definite, uh, definite answer right now because that's another reason I choose to go with uh, live streaming. So you are going to see it. You are going to see the how easy or how hard to replace the birds. Sometimes if you guys watch like YouTube videos or Instagram, they edit out the, the painful part of the process, okay? I mean, but with the live streaming, you are going to see everything. And it comes to, di uh, that, that, that's why I was even thinking about doing the, 
uh, calibration, but you have to open up the base, and then you got, I mean, a little bit more involved, let's put it that way. But maybe, you know, maybe I show you, okay? Maybe I show you, maybe like last part of it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna jump in and then do the calibration, but yeah. But what else? I think if I'm gonna dial in one more time, as is right now, I think we're gonna be right on, okay? So I always go down to number what, 15, I bet you number 10 should be good spot. But once I calibrate this, I think I'm gonna give you a lot more range. So anyway, I'm gonna big shout out to Joe again from Espresso Outlet to provide me with birds and on the F64P as well. And so now we, now we have all the birds. Pretty much I think I have the, all the 64 millimeter birds in this room. So uh, we are going to do some fun comparison coming up, coming days and coming weeks. All right, folks, see you guys next time.